Hello and welcome back to I Can't Believe It's Not The World Cup with of course Estonia in the Baltic Cup. So the last time we met I briefly went over kind of what this series will be about and I told you that we'd be playing against Lithuania and I'll be showing you the squad so I shall do just that. So the squad I have gone for is a fairly experienced squad. It includes the likes of, of course, Klavan. You can't you can't admit him from the team because he's probably the best Estonian player. Other things of no, it's it's a, if you look at the caps, most a lot of players actually have over fifty caps, which is quite quite good. And also, this fairly it's a fairly agey squad. I mean. 30 here, we've got I think 34, it's just a very old squad but hopefully with all that experience it'll be enough to get past Lithuania and Latvia. Other exciting players of note apart from Klavan is maybe um, this guy Henry Anier, I, I think he's a really kind of all round good striker um, and he can hopefully he can do a job, he's currently playing his trade in Finland but he has not scored a lot of goals in his career including when he was in Scotland so Hopefully he might be a good player for us as a kind of a target man or a defensive forward. Elsewhere, Matthias Kite looks like a good youngster. So yeah. And then <laughs> I, 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 there was a few injuries to the squad when, after I called um, some players up. And there's a real weakness in the midfield or defensive midfield of this Estonian kind of national pool of players and kind of players overall so I had to um, call up a I think it's 18 or 17 year old 18 year old from Sampdoria and this is his stats I mean he's not the greatest I know he's only 18 but he's the best we could kind of offer and he, he's got he's got three play I mean he's played three times for Sampdoria 4.2 rating so hopefully if he does have to be called on he can do a job uh, I don't know I don't know I just thought I had to mention that but yeah it's a good squad I like it and I think it will do well. As for tactics, I'll go through those now as well. I kind of pick players to fit into a, or I kind of pick the players and then fit them into a tactic as such. I realised that we didn't have a um, whole lot of out and out wingers, and we were we quite we had a lot of um, good attacking midfielders and strikers. So I've gone for a very narrow formation. I would class this as a four-two-two-two. Two. I've used this before in the past save. I think it was Venezuela, not on the on the channel, but a few FMs back, and it and it seemed to do well, even though I didn't qualify with Venezuela. I kind of liked the football that was being played. So we've got um, a sweeper keeper at the back. And I want it to be a passing game and retain possession, etc. So I've got a sweeper keeper in Andres Vaiklal. He's a youngster, but he's got good passing, um, good vision. So I thought, might as well use him as a sweeper keeper. Then we've got a back, kind of a flat back four with wing backs on automatic, depending on um, the game. And we've got um, Tensist at um, right back. Carl Metz, who was the captain, but I'm since given the captain armband to Clavan who will be playing along Clavan um, Clavan side Clavan and he, he's he looks like a good player a very good player indeed actually and of course we've got Clavan I've already shown you and then we've got Andrei Sidnorkinov he was 34 not actually playing at a club at the moment but he's got good determination got a lot of experience in terms of playing not maybe not for international experience but I thought he was the only one of the only good left backs so he's in the squad um in at the back or the, the back of the midfield, as such, we've got someone called Alexander Dmitriev. He's the best we can find. Thirty-six year old, one hundred and four caps. It's not ideal, but it's the best we can do. He's played a lot of his time in um, Estonia. Uh, in the midfield, yeah, he was a defensive mid on defend, and then we've got Carrillo. I wanted to go a bit spicy and spice it up, and we've gone for a Carrillo in midfield and. The player that gets to play as a Carrillo is oh, what's gone here is well, come on, Ilya Antonov, good young youngish midfielder, got a lot of experience. I keep on saying good experience, but yeah, it's, as I said, it's a very experienced squad. Then in the middle, we've got an Enganche, and again, one of the best players of Estonia is playing as the Enganche. I've always been intrigued by this role, as it it's kind of the role I see myself as playing on a football pitch sometimes, but maybe with a bit more movement. And I don't play a lot of football at all, but 
if I if I had a lot of ability, I think I would love to play in the Ganshe role. <laughs> but yeah, this is um Konstantin Vazilev, and he's got 103 caps for Estonia. He's 33 years of age, but he's got a really good kind of technical and mental stats, so that's why we're using him as an Ganshe. And alongside him, we've got a bit more kind of pace and flair in Matthias Kites. Up front, we've gone for an advanced forward in Sag, Kamir Sag, who was actually playing his trade in the. Faroe Islands, strangely, and he's getting good money. I think he's I think he's on seven hundred or three hundred pounds a week in the Faroe Islands. So I, I take my hat off to you. He's got good dribbling, so hopefully he can do some creative stuff. And then alongside him, we've already shown him as a defensive forward. We've got Henry Anier, who hopefully will be a good kind of stocky striker for us to have. So that is the team we are also going for today, as well as kind of the tactics. Elsewhere we've got control, obviously, and kind of retain possession, sort of passing, playing defence, work of the ball into box. And yeah, so without further ado, we shall get into our first match in the Baltic Cup against Lithuania. So, with team talks now, I've got to be really careful, and I've got to be really kind of technical with them, because I only have a few chances to kind of get my thoughts onto this squad, and I've already had a good um, kind of, um, was it, team meeting, which was good. Um, but now it's the chance to kind of really inspire the players. So let's see what we can do. Um, I would say, come on lads, show me what you can do. No, no nothing particular. So I'm going to say assertive. I think there's a lot more to come from you. Because of course they have never won a, um, they haven't won a Baltic Cup in a long time. So there's obviously a lot more to come from them. Let me just check if I've got the sound off. I do have the sound off. Let's get to the tunnel. It's a special day. There we are. Me in my nice, um, well not me, but... Limpierre in his nice kind of a jacket there. So of course we are in the blue and white and Lithuania are in the yellow. It looks like we are playing in um, Lithuania with all the um, yellow kind of around us. Of course I think it is being held in Lithuania. So nothing of note so far in the game. It's been fairly even. I hope that's not possession. We've only had 16% possession. Um, I did really want to play possession football, but it looks like it's not happening at the moment. I'm just going to demand more here. It's a bit worrying. It's getting a bit better, but not much. Hmm. It's Lithuania with a throw in. They get it into the midfield. And then back out to Elius, to Banalis. You probably will not take the shot there, actually. They do get the cross in, Bellinus is there, and he scores, and that is Lithuania 1, Estonia 0, that is not good. And the Lithuania, I forgot to say, have already beaten Latvia, so we really need to beat them here if we are, are in with a chance of winning. Because, of course, there's only two games. I mean, this was poor, poor, we shouldn't have let him get that header on goal, really. Not good, not good. If we're doing nothing, I think I'm going to have to go on attack here. Because it just looks like we're not creating any chances. And I'm going to say push forward, I think. Gosh, we're doing nothing. Is it the tactics? And that's another thing. I don't have a lot of time to kind of see what's going on with the tactics. We might have a chance here. Sag gets it to Antonov. Who gets it to Vasilev? He goes for the shot. And that is 1-1. One, one. Konstantin Vasilev gets the goal to make it Estonia 1, Lithuania 1. Hopefully now we can push forward and bring a 2-1 victory or more, of course, in this game. <sighs> it was a nicely worked goal. Sag got it out to Antonov, who did manage to get it to Vasilev, and somehow he got his shot away past the Lithuanian goalkeeper. Possession-wise, it's fairly, fairly even now. I think we've kind of got back into the game, but we're still not creating a lot of chances. So I'm just going to say get creative to see what that might do. Our strikers haven't had the best of games, so I might make a change up there. Oh, is that Kite injured? I'll see what he's like at half-time, but I think I'm going to take him off because he's not had the best of game either. I think we need a bit more pace. Looks a bruised jaw? Ow. Yeah, you, you can come off at half-time there. And I'll change it up in the um, attacking area as well because we're just not being very creative. So, yes, I'm going to take Kite off. Let's go to tactic screen. And I'm going to bring on... Oh, I don't like this tactic screen. Can I go... Can I do a different tactic screen? Yes, I can. 
four. Who am I going to bring on? Calm we? No, you can't play there. See, I'm not familiarised myself with the squad either. Runo Saipin, he, he looks like he could do something. He's now playing in the Belgian League, or Belgian Second Division. So let's see what he can do in the kite area. Now, Sarg, you, you do have a bit of pace. I know it hasn't done that great, but I think I might bring on Purge. <laughs> Purge is a great name, because I think he's got a bit more experience than, um, than Sag. So I'm going to bring on him and see what he can do. Let's do a team talk, of course, as well. Passionately go out there and grab that goal. Let's go. We're kicking off. Clavan. Oh, that's the end of the highlights, of course. So, of course, if we do draw this game, it will mean that we have to beat Latvia by as many goals as Lithuania did, and then we'll win. But if we don't, I don't know what happens if we like have the same amount of score. I don't know, really. It might be on goal score, but we'll have equal as well, potentially. Interesting. We're not doing anything. I need to change the tactics. <laughs> oh, I'm panicking now. Let's, let's change the tactics a bit. Um, hmm... I'll push our wing backs up a bit. Let's go attack and attack. I think we need a bit more kind of oomph. So I'm going to put you oh, as an attacking midfielder on attack. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, someone's just been sent off. And it's one of our players. Oh, well then. Hmm. That's kind of scuppered some stuff. I'm going to bring Sapin into the midfield and put him as a advanced player. Playmaker on attack. We're going to put Antonov a bit further back and put him on defensive midfield, at the deep line midfield, and defend. I'm going to push Vasilev more central. Maybe go control because we still, of course, have a, have a chance of winning the whole trophy if we get a draw today. So I'm going to be a bit conservative here. Well, Lithuania haven't had any um, highlights since the red card, so that that may be a good thing. I, of course, I still have one change I can make, but I might just wait a bit on that. At the moment, Senegal, Poland is going on at the moment, as I speak. I'm missing that at the moment, but it seems to be in a fairly okay game. Poland aren't doing that great. They're a bit uncreative at the moment. But yes, back onto this game, of course. I'm going to have to make a sub. Wait, can you make loads of subs in this? Well, I didn't know that. I'm going to bring on... Who am I going to bring on? I'm going to bring on Henrik Ojemaj. Ojemaj? Uh, and I'm going to bring him on for Henry Anir. And I'm going to change him up to a um, false nine. A bit creative, you know. Um, elsewhere, I'm going to take Sid Nokovarov off, if I can make more than that many subs, for... Kroglov, another very old player in this squad, but they're the best left backs we had. Now, part of me is telling me we should go for the win here. We should, really should. So, you know, I'm just going to trust my guts and I'm going to go attacking. Oh, we've got, we've got a free kick. Oh, it comes back out to Sabin. Can he get a shot on goal? He gone? No, he can't. He can't. He, he's playing, playing okay. That's all right. I'll take that. He gets it back in to Purge. Can he get it back into the box? He does, but that's a poor cross there. A real poor cross when we need a really good one there. That's not that's not good. Not good. Get creative. Go on. Overload. I'm gonna go into tactics. No more retaining possession because that's not working. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, boys. I don't know how you say that in Estonian, but Clavan gets it away. Can we start a counter here? Sapin. Oh, poor ball. Poor ball. Come on, close him down a bit. Haven't seen enough closing down. Hmm. Playing it around the back here, Lithuania. I don't like it. Come on. Can we get the ball back? We do. Ujima gets it to Sapin. Come on. Come on, get it in the drill. Oh, poor pass. That was our chance. And they're probably going to go up the other end and score now. Look, yeah, here we are. There we are. 2-1. And I think we are going to lose the Baltic Cup already. <laughs> Not a great. Not a great start. Really. 
Oh, our own faults. I'm gonna say show some passion. Maybe we can get a goal, Antonov. To Clavan. Gets it out to Krugolov. Oh, come on. We're not doing anything. This is really poor. They're gonna get another goal. They do, it's 3-1 Lithuania. Oh gosh. That is it, I think. That is it. We're done. Not what we wanted. Well, not what we wanted indeed. You know, because we're losing, I'm going to bring on Sumitz to give him his first international cap. I know it's not going to affect the save at all, but I feel like he could come on and have a bit of experience. Wow, we just haven't turned up. That is not good. It could be it could be before now. This is this is disappointing. Uh, I mean at least you've got some good action. Oh it is four. It is four. Wow, they they deserve that in a in a way. Ah uh, Well <laughs> Looks like I won't be ever managing football managing on um, the World Cup at this rate. Of course I will be, which will be coming out soon, so keep your eyes peeled. Thought I just might say as well, the next series of this will be uh, with Macau. So that should be interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll give you more details in the first episode, of course. Purge? No, that, that, no never mind. Never mind. So this is coming out, or oh, the next one of this is coming out against Latvia fairly shortly after this. I need to decide when they're going to come out. But I think they should come up every three days, or well, this one will be. And then it'll be probably about a few days break until the Macau save. And I think I'm only going to do two, two of these series, so this one and the Macau series, because I want to kind of focus on some other World Cup stuff as well. But I, 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 I like the idea of this. And maybe if you want to see me manage some lesser known international teams later on, this is kind of a taster for that as well. So just please do leave your opinions on this and um, hopefully you like it. Of course, we do have one more match we have to play and that's against Latvia and that's to maybe get some pride out of this tournament. But yeah, 4-1 Lithuania. And of that course they mean that they um, they win it in their second match because of course there's only two matches. Well done to Lithuania, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth, me showing this or them showing it to me, but you know, what can you do, what can you do? But yes, thank you for listening and watching. Please do check out our main channel which is in the description, that which we run a podcast, which is really good, so please do check that out and if you do I'll be much obliged. Um so I'll see you against Latvia and of course enjoy the World Cup as it's going on don't forget to be awesome so see ya